Hello everyone, this is the Lord of Mass Panic back again. Hello, I'm not going to give you an explanation why I haven't been posting up commentaries because you know, I'm lazy. All I do is play video games, but I don't put up any commentaries. So now that that's out of the way, this is going to be a story commentary because I love telling stories and I think it's about time you heard some. So I'm going to come up with one right now. I think I have one. Okay. So for you people who live in Canada, you might know this. We have a store called Zellers. Z E double L E R S might, I don't know, some people spell it with a Z at the end, who knows, it's just how you prefer, that kind of stuff. But today, not today, no, I'm lying, it's not today, it was a while ago. Okay, so a while ago, I'm walking in there with my friends, we're, we're just talking, having a blast, going upstairs uh, of, of the store, playing with the Nerf guns that they have. It's kind of like a Sears, except not as rich, and it, it's like the poor man's version of Sears. It's like a mini Walmart, except with like, no, never mind, the right... Same amount of East Indian people working. But, okay, so we walk upstairs. And then we notice the security guard coming up. And he's just he's just coming upstairs, strolling around, walks up to us. And we're thinking, hmm, we might be in trouble. But he walks around, kind of surveys us for a little bit. And we're still wondering, like, what is he doing? And then he comes up to us. And we're like, oh, man, we're in trouble. But then he starts having a conversation with us. He asks, he's like, how's it going? And we're like, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, uh, what, what you up to? Oh, we're just walking around having fun. H how are you? Good, good. Um, you work you work the night shift? Yeah, yeah, I, I work the night shift. And uh, you, you like working as a security guard? Yeah. Did, did you go to school for that? Um, no, I just did a little bit of training and stuff. And we just had a regular conversation. And this went on for about five, six minutes. And then he randomly breaks through the comment uh, Not the commentary. Sorry. He randomly breaks through the conversation and says... Well, guys, I, I got a complaint, and I'm sorry, but you guys are going to have to leave. Now, I'm sitting there thinking, are you serious? Second of all, uh, that's the first thing I was thinking. The second thing I was thinking was, this is like the nicest security guard I have ever met. He's required to late make us leave, but he sits there and has a conversation with us and like leaves on a good note. Is that a, not a good security guard or not? Or is that not... Uh, is it is that a security guard that is good or not? I, my f sentence is phrased oh so badly. But uh, yeah, that was the story of this uh, security guard. Uh, a little bit of closure on that one is I was in line for Taco Time because we have Taco Bell here and we have Taco Time. Taco Time is more healthy but eight times more expensive and it's just not it's not as good as Taco Bell. I know Taco Bell went through some things with like bad beef and stuff, but it was good bad beef. Come on, it's delicious. Don't just it was like, ah, Taco Bell's gross. No, it's it's really delicious. It's just, maybe it wasn't the best for you, but we all seem to eat McDonald's and t all those other fast food restaurants. I don't think Burger King is necessarily good for you, but there are no scandals with that, so everybody's like, oh, it's okay. Oof, it wasn't reported. Oh, off of my fast food rant. So I'm sitting in line at Taco Time, and the security guard comes up, and he's, he's, gonna, he's in line at Taco Time. And I turn around and think, hey, I'm going to talk to this guy. And I say, hey, how's it going? He's like, he's like, it's going pretty good. And we had a conversation, and I was with my mom. And my mom turns around afterwards as he's ordering his food and we're waiting for ours. And she's like, do you know him? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know him. He, he's a security guard. How do you know him? Well, uh, he kicked us out of Zellers like last week. And that was an MSN notification. Does anyone notice that? Bleh. But yeah, and it was, I was like, he kicked me out of Zellers though, a few weeks ago. And apparently I'd failed to tell my mom this. And she was like freaking out thinking I was like a fugitive or something. I'm not a fugitive. I'm a very good kid. It just happened that we were kind of loud. So yeah, she was... She's like, I don't know whether to trust you in public, and there was a bit of a rant with that, but that's completely besides the point. The point is, this security guard was really, really nice. That is all. That is all I have to say. <laughs> Next part of the commentary that I will be speaking about would happen to be something that really irks me, something that really pull yanks on my chain. And I know that some, plenty of you, actually, will probably disagree with me, but I am probably one of the most ridiculously against people Ugh. ridiculously opposing people when it comes to substances or drinking. Now, I'm not going to get into the drug yard argument, I'm not going to get into the weed argument, the marijuana thing where it's like, oh, it's it's, it's not bad for you, but I'm, because I just think it's bad for you. I, I'm like, that's not kosher, that's not good. But when it comes to drinking, first of all, when it comes to teenage drinking, because I'm a teen, and a lot of people drink at my age, and I think, first of all, grow up, because that's my, I associate drinking underage with immaturity because you're underage and it's illegal and most people just do it to get wasted. And even as you're older, drinking is associated with immaturity. But my main opinion is it's a mind altering thing and shouldn't be done period. But 
even more so underage. Like, if you're my age, and you're out drinking with your friends and partying, I'm not gonna talk to you, because I don't appreciate what you do with yourself. Like, I don't appreciate how you carry yourself, I don't respect you, so there's really no point in talking to you. <clears throat> and some people get offended by that. Some people say I'm stuck up, some people say I'm elitist, some people say other mean things, like you're a square because you don't drink. <clears throat> I don't drink because, first of all, it's illegal. Second of all, it's just, I just don't want to. It's so unhealthy and bad for you. I don't want to get cancer. I don't want to die. Even though alcohol probably does not cause cancer, but still. <clears throat> it might cause cancer, like liver cancer or something. And my goodness, someone stops spamming me on Facebook. This is ridiculous. Every time a Facebook notification pops up, it's like, boop, 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 boop. And you might hear that, you might not, but it's bugging the crap out of me. Yes, drinking, bad. Like, I, there's so many bad things about, like, first of all, I, I have never drank, drunk, blah, 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 I've never drank to the point of getting drunk, I've never drank, period, actually, but I've ha known people with the effect, and epic quickscoping moment right there, but I get, like, drunk text messages from people, drunk phone calls from people, drunk a bunch of stuff from people, where it's just, stop, do you realize how big of an idiot you are? That kind of stuff, like, I just don't respect these people, and I, frankly, do not care for their existence existence, but I, I'm glad that none of them watch my commentaries because they don't like me. I don't like them. So it's a love-hate relationship, kind of. N more of a hate relationship, but still. But yeah, I'm just against it. And feel free to post your views on drinking in this. Views on drinking, views on substance abuse, views on extremes and in extremes of it, views on unicorns versus dinosaurs, anything, really. But it, as long as it pertains to drinking, not really unicorns or dinosaurs, sorry. Um, even though dinosaurs beat unicorns er day, just thought I'd let you know. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I'm just saying, yeah, just post your thoughts on drinking and why, first of all, why you like it or why you don't like it, why I should like it or why I shouldn't like it. Just post your views on it, what, it morally and immorally, whichever. Just phrase it well or else I'm probably just going to ignore you. But yeah, thoughts on drinking. And... Third point in this thing, so, so we went from a story, a, I don't know, a rather amusing anecdote, to a view on drinking. Third of all, we're going to go to motivation for me to continue to do these commentaries, because I'm, as you can see, I'm not motivated enough to do it often. I, this is, it's been like two or three weeks since I did my last one. Maybe even longer, I don't even keep track. But here's an idea. Are you listening? Say it louder if you're, if you're listening. If you're listening, let me know. Okay, no one's listening, but um, what I'm saying is you should take any topic you can possibly think of, dinosaurs, unicorns, rainbows, flowers, poop, I, I don't care. Take it, put it in the comments, put it in the comments, it doesn't even matter. You can put your own separate comment with it, but put it in the comments and I will turn that into a 30 to 45 second wrap that I will put into the intro of the next, the intro or the end, you, you decide, I don't even care, I'll decide later. But the intro or the end of the next video. And because I love to rap and I love to make commentaries, but right now I'm not motivated to do either. But I will make a 30, I will make like a 12 to 16 bar rap about that specific topic. And I will put your YouTube name in the corner of the video or in an annotation or something like that telling people how awesome you are, you create a topic that I actually enjoyed. But it won't be like biased, like I won't pick things that are just really, really specific and things that I feel comfortable rapping about, I will go out of my box and I will be really, really awesome with it, and it should be fun. So yeah, that's the end of the game. I went 30 and 10, nothing extravagant, because I haven't played for, I haven't played first person shooters for like two weeks, so I'm kind of rusty, but I'm going to go back to playing Oblivion, and uh, yeah, I'll see you. Comment, rap topic, go, I'm out, bye.